not sure who Tutu's understudy is, but if y'all could comment and let me know her name. But she really comes down giving us this overhand catwalk, and it is eating. I'm here for the elements. I'm here for the stretch. It's very femme queen about it. This guy taking pictures is not very demure. It is really, like, upsetting everybody. Not cutesy. I love the poses that this girl goes into, like, hyping up Tutu and saying, like, get into, you know, my partner. I live for that. Legendary Tutu comes out, and her tints are so cutesy, so demure. Tutu is like just one of those soft Fem Queen performers that don't let the beat control her. She always controls the beat. Like in her poses, the catwalk, she takes her time during her performance. So you just have to appreciate everything that she does. This stunt from Tutu really reminds me of Star Revlon at the Midwest Awards Ball. Not saying she got it from that, but it reminds me of that. And I love the fact that Tutu is not one of those legends that don't come out. She's not scared to walk. Tutu really gets out there. Next up is Gorgeous Gucci. I'm not sure of this young lady's name. Please comment her name. Let me know. She's sporting this orange cat suit and goes straight into a Sanaya dip. And this catwalk is a little bit awkward. But she's trying to make it work. I felt like her tents were kind of shaky. They were kind of mediocre. And she recovered that slip very well. You can tell that she has a lot of control in her performance. And I see a lot of growth in this young lady's future. Uh, next up is our up and coming legend, Pandora West. And the way Pandora filled out that cat suit should be a crime because she's in it. Her start off is so nasty to me. Her catwalk is so nasty. Like, it's the hips, it's the body. It just makes her performance look so clean. Like, Pandora moves and she's got all of these elements and they just work for her. Like, it's so much body. It just makes her performance look so teed. Ooh, congratulations to Samantha now in the house of Miyaki Mugler. I love Samantha's unconventional performance. Like this catwalk was so T, the way she just stepped into these crashes. It was really the deal. I love that about this performance and about these tents. The only thing I would say, I wish her effects showed more skin like her and her partner, but her tents were very cute and they got the building up. I'm not sure who our partner is. Can y'all comment and let me know? I will say I did notice that she fell out of this dip, but she did make it work, but I still think that that was a choppable offense. Like they were chopping some people and then letting some other people through. It was more about the energy. I think this particular night is what the judges were going for. They wanted high energy because they were forgiving a lot of choppable things and we'll definitely see that moving forward. So next up is Demi Moore. I'm not sure what house Demi is in, but she's been a crowd favorite for a really long time. She's an old school girl who took a break from the scene. Deshaun gave her the nastiest chant. And Demi has that Christina type of energy to her performance where she can do a lot of movements and it just, it conveys it so soft, so caught, like it works for Demi. The crowd and everybody was so into Demi's tent. And to make her partner, I'm not sure who this young lady is. Her partner looks fresh out of a uh, virgin performance. And she had this sense of entitlement in her performance that was just so undeserved to me. Like she stopped voguing and it just gave like, girl, who do you think you are not to you know go full out it just gave like she was maybe it was nervousness but i love the fact that demi moore she put out i believe which is her daughter like she wanted to get her daughter out there and say you know what i'll walk with you no problem i appreciate that type of camaraderie this is juju la then that double kick dip was nasty 
Juju has a really nice catwalk and her her stage presence is really really there she really might be one to watch out for in the future because this girl has it she's pretty I would love to see Juju also in some realness categories next up is Revlon she does this first dip that I feel like every girl does when they first get their bags this dip just gives me a, I just got off the table. Here you go. <laughs> no, but she had really hot tens. Like, they were a hot team. They were a hot duo. They're both pretty, and they both look so good. I love this stunt from her was absolutely sickening. Like, baby, this girl is the one. I don't know. Something about that flow, that performance really did it for me. I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. Barbie's energy when she first started was nasty. And congratulations to her for debuting in the House of Gorgeous Gucci, leaving Balenciaga. The hands was it. The hair was it. It was giving femme queen to a T. And then she goes and falls out of this dip. Like not a recovery, not a damn thing. And the judges let that slide. Barbie should have absolutely been shopped for that. Like... It wasn't a secret or anything. She just clean fell out of the dip. And that just lets you know the extent of pretty privilege in ballroom. Because she didn't do nothing but go out there and be pretty for those tens. Granted, it had elements before, but girl. The queen of latex. Get into this catwalk because it was catwalking. The Sanaya titty shakes into the, the kick. This first dip, this first spin dip was just out of this world. It has so much energy. And Tati's showing us that she still has that stretch. The body is bodying. Like, Tati was on her shit for these tens. Like, it really shook. Congratulations to Tati, the new NYC mother of the house of Glare. Oh, the body is bodying. Get into Tati. This next battle, I felt like the girl in the green had a really creative, unconventional performance, but she gets lost in her opponent's shadow, where it's like she can't really shine through. And the other girl is just, she's connecting with the, the judges a little bit more. Her moves are a little bit more in your face. But this other girl, she has a, like this creative performance, but she focuses on her opponent so much that you can't even see what she's doing, if that makes sense. Like, she's her own worst enemy in this particular battle because she focuses on her opponent so much. Like, the girl in the blue just kind of wiped her for me. And then Tutu, and then the other girl in green. She has a... Their, comp, their performances, the girl in the green, their performances, they're, they both complement each other. They're both, like, unconventional and creative. But I don't really feel like too much went on in this battle to really break down. I felt like the blue suit team really just ate them easily without really trying too hard. Like, nothing really happened in this battle for me. Tutu is always a superstar, but they beat them so easily. Like, something about this team in the green is just, they just need one small tweak to make it that much better. It's something missing. This girl comes catwalking down in the orange while Juju takes her time in the back. Something about this girl's dips is just uh, something is a little off. Something about her dips just needs to be a little bit tighter. And her performance moves on one frequency the entire time. I would love to see her like add some variety with her movements and her pace. Like, there's something missing from this girl in the orange, and I can't put my quite put my finger on it. This stunt from Juju is so nice. Like, this dip, soft, cunt. I love subtle stuff like that. This colorful katsu girl, the way she starts her this battle is so nice because she remixes her move. So she goes to the panel and kind of dusts it off with her foot, and then 
Pandora says, I could do that too. And she says, I could do that better and gives you another, like, remixing her first stunt. And then Pandora kind of gets lost when she does that stunt back there. And I feel like the colorful team just, they kind of just shined a little bit more through to me in this particular battle. So this is Team Tati's first battle now. And Barbie has really gotten herself together. Her dips are tighter. Get into her sand, Fifth Queen. That was a key. Blue messed up in this part of her stunt. Like, it did not go the way she planned at all. Barbie's performance in this particular battle reminds me a lot of Tati's. Like, in the beginning when Tati first came out. And I thought that was interesting. But Barbie's landing all of her dips. And this girl in the blue, it seems like she can't quite get it together in this particular battle. And this, like, stuck moment was so cute in their performance. The way that Tati and Tutu came catwalking down. But I honestly think that Tati got that moment with that dip. I love the fact that Tutu really was taking our time and get into that picture perfect pose from Tutu in that moment. And the little shake from Tutu, it's the small subtle things. Tati had a really nice performance in this in this battle as well. Get into Tati's pose and the slow down knee spin. That's what I mean by adding variety to your pace. If I have to be honest, I really feel like Team Tati definitely took that one. And I have to say, I feel like Tutu's hair is not the same hair from the 5,000. Like, that ponytail did what it needed to do. This ponytail was moving more like a whip than a helicopter. I need helicopter Tutu, because she wouldn't have played. Nah, Tutu did a great job in this battle. Barbie and Juju. In this first part of the performance, I really feel like Barbie took that. Barbie was, her performance got tight as the night went on. Like, in this battle, it was so clean and it was so kind. Like, her hands and everything that Barbie was doing just really worked. And I feel like Juju kind of got lost in this moment. And this, like, Fem Queen moment from Barbie was nice. Barbie's performance is just so clean in this particular battle. Like, she's just sticking her dips. Tati did not come to play with this girl, and neither did this girl. The Tanaya titty shakes from her was nice, but Tati got right into it, and her performance was so tight, and the poses were really there. Like, this other girl could not stop Tati. This I put the Sonic black and blonde stomp from her was dirty. I really feel like she needs to feel that stomp out a little bit more because it was so nice coming from her. It really reminds you of Johnny's. Grand Prize, the Queen, and the Princess of Latex. 